From a deranged psychopath, mutterer, dirty, greedy, and all sorts of names people have called him, here are the top 8 moments that Trevor showed. He is the most affectionate one. One among the three protagonists, he, Michael, and Franklin. <laughs> Number 8. You saw that show with Tracy DeSanta, right? Fame or shame? Michael's super cool, even though he knows his daughter is gonna be the laughing stock of the nation. But then, his best friend Uncle Trevor steps up pushes him to be a more responsible dad and prevents it from happening. Argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're Sir, I may I please have your uh, name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? Tracy DeSanta, yes. <laughs> Hi. All right, Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like a, a basketball of puppies or a rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Oh. <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. We've got a little show to do here. Number seven. Trevor is a solid friend. In the opening of Bury the Hatchet, Trevor acknowledges that he is still Michael's best friend even after Michael abandoned and betrayed him, causing Trevor to mourn his death, despite that he was still alive. Hey man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend, I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks, I really appreciate that. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes us cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend, bam. Number six, in the mission, by the book. Trevor is given a clear instruction to do away with Mr. K. However, Trevor decides to alternatively let him live by sending him to a different country to escape his enemies and become a torture advocate. Now I got a rap ball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What <laughs> the fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Come on. Shut up! That's a sport. Let's go, come on. Where are you sitting? G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. People. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Me. Run, you're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Number five. In the mission, the wrap up. Michael gets caught up in a shootout between the LSPD, Meriwether, FIB, and Steven. However, Trevor spontaneously appears and saves him from Mary Weather Chopper that had a clear advantage on him. Fuck. Number 4. After the mission, the monkey business. 
Michael finally gets to an agreement with Martin Madrazo via Lester, in which to fulfill it, Trevor had to let go of Patricia, whom he had a big crush on by the way, so that she can reunite with her husband. Now as long as Trevor handles his wife, we're good. I had a wonderful time, Trevor, but we both know I made a vow to my husband. I know! You have a great pain inside, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. Number 3. In the final mission of GTA 5, in the circumstance that you chose to eliminate Michael, Franklin tries to phone Trevor to get him to help him achieve this. However, Trevor denies to help him and cuts ties with Franklin completely. Clearly, Trevor isn't a fan of betrayal. Frankie! Hey, T man, I'm in trouble, dawg. I think I gotta take out Michael. Got to? Yeah, man, look. The FIB, man, they trying to get me to clap you. And Devin Weston, he trying to get me to ice Michael. And I thought if I if I do that, man, maybe we got some room, you know? So wh what are you telling me this for? Cuz, dawg, I'm doing this for us. I thought you could. Well, I can't! You're turning on him? I have had enough traitors in my life! Man, your ass could say thank you. Shit. You deserve each other. Alright, before we dive into number two and one, give a thumbs up if you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button, and make sure to click the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new videos. Thanks for sticking with me so far. Alright, let's dive into it. Number two, in the side missions of Strangers and Freaks. Trevor offers a hug to Nigel, who can't help but express how fortunate he is to have Trevor by his side to help him through tasks. There you are. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Where's your wife? Mrs. Zonia, she's not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kitties at home. We met on live. No, nothing said. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to under celebs wheels. <laughs> oh, she can throw herself under my wheels, anything. Oh, I knew you were funny, dog. Yeah. I knew I would like you. Can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah, hug, yeah. Uh, I've got a protruding hip. It's not a semi. <laughs> Alright, so here's the catch with number one. We've got to say, it's pretty emotional to see Trevor go through everything in GTA 5. And you know what? It takes a toll on him when his mom gets out of prison too. She decides to surprise him at his cabin, and boy, does he get emotional talking to her. With the cherry on top, he hasn't heard from her since and he's totally freaking out. Have you gotten me a drink or a cigarette? 
on massage my feet and you in the prime of life have you nothing inside I'm so sorry There you have it, folks. So these are the top eight instances where Trevor showed us he had a good heart in GTA 5. You know, he can have his ups and downs, but it's clear that he's also able to feel emotions. Give this video a watch, and if I miss something or if you'd like me to correct something, just hit that comment button. Feel free to share your thoughts on Trevor or any other main character in GTA games. Catch you later. Have a great time. Friendship?